were the first distillery of tequila to have a water treatment plant inside of its facility. Here we are in the compost area. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> Whoa. My name is Ophelia Valdespino, and I'm the Patron Process Representative. And where are we right now? We are at the water treatment plant. When you say water treatment plant, what do you mean? Like, what, what water is being treated? We have uh, the stillage water. Mm -hmm. We call it Vinasa. We treat the Vinasa right here. This is a reversal osmosis plant. That means that we use a lot of filters where we capture a lot of tiny particles to reuse the water. Okay. And then where do you reuse the water? The first reason is to water our gardens, also uh, as service water, mm -hmm. to clean the areas, and also for the cooling water towers for the distillation process. Okay, this is like the liquid that we receive. That's like, what it looks like. Exactly. This looks like the vinasa. Then we pass this through several filters, and we will get the final product will be something like this. Wow. Remember, it's not potable water, but we will use this water, and that way we are not extracting more water than the one that we really need for producing Patron, and right. that's it. So is this water treatment facility unique to Patron? We were the first distillery of tequila to have a water treatment plant inside of its facility. Wow, OK. OK? Here we are in the compost area. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> Whoa. We receive all the leftover fiber from our process and also the organic trash. We separate it back in the hacienda. And also we receive fiber from small distilleries. So like you let other small distilleries send you their fibers as well? Exactly, because they don't have compost area, so we treat the compost for them. And you can see it's huge. How it's big is it? 12 acres. So does it just sit here? We need to take care of few conditions, for instance, the temperature, also the oxygenation. We will use a machine that it will rotate the fiber so we can add oxygenation. Okay, and that makes the reaction exactly. happen where it starts to break down. Exactly. So when the process is over, about six to eight months, we give it away to the government for public spaces, to the small distilleries that doesn't have a compost area, and also the agave farmers. And here's where we close the cycle, because we started with the agave in the field, and we end up with what we can give back to that field, that is the compost, give back all the nutrients to the soil. Wow. Do you use the soil on the property? Yes, we use it in all the gardens that we have here at the Hacienda. Why is there a garden on the property? At the beginning, we built it because we want to try if the compost works. Now we know that it works, but we like it and we kept it. What do you do with all of the vegetables? We use everything to feed our guests in Casona. And also when we have a huge production, we give it away to all the primos uh, so they can bring the food to their homes. Who are the primos? So primo is a word in Spanish to say cousin. And here at Patron, we say cousin to all the employees because we're a family. Ophelia, thank you so much. This was wonderful seeing the water filtration system, the compost, and this beautiful garden. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you here. And speaking of family, on the next episode, we will meet with a bunch of the employees at Patron and learn about how they really are all cousins and how family is truly important here at Patron Tequila. Thank you.